everyone. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha Menon and uh, here we'll be talking about anything related to importing and uh, the things that I learn in my business. So today we are going to be talking about a very important topic that is crucial to your business, I would say, which is promotion. So before I get into those details, I want to share a small happy news with you, actually. So as you know, uh, you know, we've got two brands, which is Nikasu that makes Indian frozen food products and Jack and Chill, which is exclusively for jackfruit based products. And we have rebranded Jack and Chill and now brought some vibrant colors to our packaging and more sustainability as well. So I got the new look of my packs last week and I just wanted to share it with you guys actually. So this is the jackfruit burgers and this is the pulled jackfruit and this is the jackfruit biryani. So you can follow us on uh, Jack and Chill Foods to, uh, you know, to hear more news and more uh, uh, range that we are bringing in. We are bringing more curries into the uh, UK market, actually. Anyway, so back to the topic of promotion. Did you notice that I did a bit of promotion there of my products? So I just thought I'll add it to you because you get the actual feel of it, you know. Anyway, so jokes apart, so we'll be talking about promotion and how to promote your products and eight methods which I have tried for my business. So what is promotion? It is one of the basic piece of the elements of marketing. So you've got price, you've got product, place and then promotion. We have discussed the other three in my previous videos and if you want you can check it out later and today we'll be talking about the fourth P which is promotion. Mostly even including myself many people think that getting your products on the shelf of the supermarket or into a restaurant or on the uh, you know the shops is the biggest hurdle but no it's not getting on the shelf it's getting off the shelf because if you don't drive traffic or if you don't drive footfall or customers into the stores, into the shops where you stock your products, your products will not sell. It will not go off the shelves. So you have to get your products off the shelves more importantly than getting it on the shelves. So with promotion, what are we aiming for? We are aiming for increasing the awareness, create an interest, generate sales or even creating a brand loyalty. You can use either one method or a mix of many methods to do your promotion of your products. When doing your promotion, there are a few things that you need to take into account. First is your target audience. What is your target audience? That's it, like, you know, customer avatar and everything, which I have talked in my previous videos. Who are your customers? Who are the customers that you're targeting to sell to? What are their interests? What's your budget? So how much are you willing to invest in promotion or marketing? So what's your plan of action? So what's the strategy and what are the objectives that you are trying to achieve? Is it just increasing the sales or is it building a community and a brand loyalty for your products? What's your call of action? So what is it that you want from this promotion? You know, so once people say, you know, uh, see your products or once people see your Facebook ad or Instagram ad, what is the call to action you want these people to do? Do you want them to go to your website? Do you want them to go to your Instagram page? So that is what is call to action. So what are the results that you're looking to achieve from this promotion? Now, let's share with you the eight marketing methods which I have used in my business and which I feel is, uh, you know, is kind of my favorite, I would say, or maybe has worked for my business. The first is tasting or sampling, you know, which is my top one and the favorite one, I would say. Even today, I had gone to a shop to do tasting of our jackfruit biryani. So that is my top one. Especially if you're running a food business, you need people to taste your products because if they just see it on the shelves, it's not necessary that it will get sold, you know. So, but if you do a tasting, because especially at exhibitions and if, if you are in a mall or if you are stocked in a shop, I would highly recommend your food products has to be given to the customers so that they can taste your products. And when they taste your products, you'll get a feedback. It can be a positive or a negative feedback as well. It greatly, you know, it helps you in improving the products or even understanding more about the products, the things that we must not have thought about. So giving tasting and sampling of your products in the shops where you are stocked is the first and the most important one, I would say, if you have a food business. The next one is offers on your products. 
so these offers can be seasonal offers or monthly offers or you know anything that you want to do so this is the second one and chill we do two different type of offers for nikaso products because that's the indian consumers and for jack and chill that's a different target customer so i'll tell you quickly both so for nikaso what we do is because it's the indian community usually we target for the uh, the festivals like diwali or uh, you know ramzan or anything like that and where we give offers according to these uh, festival times we give like 20% off or buy one get one free or you know anything like that which is linked to those things and then we also give a, a banner or any marketing material to the shops to tell customers that the offer is there in the shops and then i also promote it on social media like facebook whatsapp instagram to say that our products are available in these shops at this discounted price for jack and chill our most important month is january because in the uk if you are from the uk you'll know that there is a month called veganuary where people sign up to have a vegan diet in january hence it's called veganuary vegan who you know in january they try to be vegans over half a million people sign up in the uk last year and then for us because it's jackfruit based it's quite important that we promote these products into this vegan community so veganuary is when we do the promotions as a you know like a 20% off or something even launch offers that's another way which we can do then if you do ice creams you can target the summer months you know because ice cream sell more in the summer months so this is how you plan your in store promotion or uh, your seasonal offers that you have to do the next is the social media ads so social media ads is uh, as you know it's a facebook ad it's instagram ad it's google ad so these three are the most popular ads which you will come across so to be honest i am not a great fan of social media ads because it hasn't worked well for me and i'm not a you know social media person as well so i don't know the inside uh, on uh, you know how these um, the insights work of the social media as well so um, but and i think because we don't sell it directly to consumers we sell it only through the shops or distributors it doesn't work well if you are a service based business or if you sell it directly to the consumers then it might be more beneficial for you because you can drive the traffic from the ads into your website where you sell your products or into your instagram shop or facebook shop you know where you sell your products and then you can track these sales as well for us because we don't sell it from the website it's hard for me to keep a track of all these sales and hence it's not worked well but there are many people for whom as i said if it works on the website then it will be great for your business and one thing to remember is with, with all these social media things because their insights keep changing all the time it will be good to keep updated of what are the changes and what things they have new things they have uh, you know brought in again there are lots of youtube video where you can refer and even i keep uh, looking at those youtube videos but be updated on what are the things that keeps changing on these uh, social media platforms and next is influencer marketing so as you know influencers there are lots of influencers these days so if you take social media there are influencers on youtube or on instagram on tiktok you know so if there are influencers on all these platforms and because ours is a food business what i do is i contact these with there are several tiers of influencers as well so there are uh, you know micro influencers macro influencers and there are bigger influencers so i go for the the smaller influencers because that's what would promote our brand so if you go for these micro influencers which are less than 10000 followers and i send them these uh, jackfruit or the biryani or the burgers and i tell them you create a recipe with these uh, you know with the pulled jackfruit or the jackfruit chunks or you can do a review on your uh, feed with the biryani or the burgers so that their followers would see that and then that in the hope that it would bring me some following and then the word just spreads out as well that is how we do the marketing with these social media influencers there are sometimes what happens is they might ask you for a payment and they might say oh yeah i've got my package here i'll send you the media package and then you can pay to be honest i haven't paid any influencers yet because um, we say you know we are a small brand and then we would like to work on a gifting basis that's what they say we say 
and then we work with them on a gifting basis. I send the products to them and then they do the review for my products. So that's what I expect from them. So you have to make sure that you they need to understand what is that we are looking for from them. It is good to give them clear guidelines of what we need from them as well. You know, how many stories, how many recipes or do we want them to put it as a, a giveaway? You know, so we need to give them clear instructions there. Next is email marketing. So email marketing that is again going directly to the customers as you know you get a lot of emails from other people other brands as well. So for that one of the platforms which I use is called MailChimp. So MailChimp.com so I can leave the link in the description below and you can have a look at that. Next is cross promotion where two brands they do marketing together so that the you know both the brands get benefited because the reach goes to both the consumers or both the followers so example uh, for us you know once what we have done is for the burgers we partnered up with a burger brand and then so we have, we provide them with a burger patty and then we say that okay when you go to these shops you buy this you buy this burger and our jack and chill burger and this bun and you get it as a, at a special price Again, if you go to McDonald's, you know that they've got Coke there. So that is again partnership with that brand. And then you've got Domino's and Coca-Cola, you know. So these are all partnering up together. So they get the reach of both the brand and the strength of both the brands. Next is customer referral programs. So where, you know, you must be getting a lot of uh, these other companies who must have told you, okay, if you refer your friend, you get a discount and they get a discount as well. So that you can use for your products as well. We also had a loyalty scheme one time and uh, where what we did was when people buy our products, we had a loyalty card, we stamped them and after five uh, stamps, you know, we used to get, give them a discount for their next purchase. Like if you go to Starbucks, if you go to Nando's, if you go to any of these shops, You'll have these uh, loyalty scheme and even customer referral programs like even if you buy a house or if you use an insurance company. So those are those are the examples where you've got the customer. If you refer your friend to their company, then you get a discount and they get a discount as well. Next is branded promotional gifts which is where you it is also called merchandise you know so you have your own um, branded hoodies you can have your uh, caps or you can have pens pencils notepad or uh, t-shirts mugs so these are the kind of things where people give away either to these influencers at the exhibitions or even when you're at the stations you know railway station or anything so people give these even the bags as well so give these as a merchandise so that people carry that and then it spreads the word, word around so that's another way of promoting your products okay so those are the eight promotion methods which we have used in marketing and uh, so this is something which we have always found very very helpful in our business and it helps in boosting the sales as well so do let me know in the comments below what are the methods that out of these which you have used in your business and because that will help others as well and if anything else other than these eight ones if anything else which you feel has really helped in your business it can be your service space it can be a food business or any other business so do let us know in the comments below what are the uh, promotional methods that you have used so until next video see you later take care bye bye